This video is Lesson 6.7 from 5th Grade Math, Subtraction with Renaming. I'm going to go ahead and go over a couple of problems with you to give you a quick idea on how to do the process. So we're going to start with number 8 here. So we have 8 and 1 fifth minus 3 and 5 ninths. What I like to tell the students to do is to rewrite the problem so that the numbers are stacked on top of each other for subtraction. So we have 8 and 1 fifth and we want to subtract 3 and 5 ninths. So we're going to want to make sure you are lining up your whole numbers together and your fractions together, okay? Step one, as always, is find a common denominator. So a common denominator for five and nine is going to be 45. So we're gonna make two new fractions with a common denominator of 45. So I draw my little arrows and then I say, okay, let's bring this over. The eight's gonna stay the same. We know eight and one fifth is going to change to eight and something over 45 minus and 3 and 5 ninths will change to 3 and something over 45. Okay, so now we have 8 and something over 45 minus 3 and something over 45. So we have to figure out our new numerators. So ask yourself, what did I do to the 5 to get 45? You multiplied it by 9. So since 5 times 9 is 45, I also have to multiply the 1 times 9. So 1 times 9 is 9. So this becomes 8 and 9 40 fifths. Same thing down here. What did I multiply 9 by to get 45? I multiplied it by 5. So since 9 times 5 is 45, 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so here are our two new fractions. 8 and 9 40 fifths minus 3 and 25 40 fifths. So now we look at our numerators. When you are subtracting fractions, you only subtract the numerators. Your denominator stays the same. So I look at 9 minus 25, and if you know anything about traditional subtraction, that's not something you're going to be able to do without regrouping. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so regrouping with fractions or mixed numbers is going to be different from regrouping with traditional whole numbers. So watch how we do it. We are going to take a whole number from here from our whole number column, and we are gonna convert that whole number into fraction form and put it in our fraction column, okay? So let's cross off our eight, make it a seven. And then we're gonna bring, we took a whole number from here, so we gotta bring that whole number over to here. So basically, if I convert this whole number that I took from here into a fraction, I wanna make sure it has the same denominator here, so I don't have to worry about making a common denominator again. So basically what I'm bringing over is 45 over 45. It's the same denominator, okay? And if I keep the numerator the same, 45 over 45 is actually equal to one whole, okay? So I'm bringing that over. So really I have 9 40 fifths plus 45 40 fifths to get my new answer. So here's a, a quicker way to do that without having to rewrite this. Take your denominator and add nine. Okay, so 45 plus 9 is going to get you 54. So I cross off my 9 and I make it a 54. And now we can subtract 54 minus 25. And 54 minus 25 is 29. Denominator again still stays the same. And now we can subtract our whole numbers. So 7 minus 3 is 4. So our final answer here is 4 and 29 40 fifths. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and look at another one real quick. I'm looking at number 3 right here. This one starts with a whole number. So it's a whole number minus a mixed number. So here's how we do it. Just like before, you want to start with rewriting it and making sure you're lining up the whole numbers. So 9 minus 3 and 7 eighths. Okay. Now, when I go to subtract this, I notice, wait, there's nothing here. I don't have a fraction here, but I need to put one here in order to subtract the 7 eighths. So again, we're going to do some regrouping. Taking from your 9, that leaves 8 remaining. We're going to take that whole number and we're going to put it here in fraction form. I want to make sure I'm keeping that same denominator. So our denominator is going to be an 8. Now, to keep it a whole number, we need to make our numerator also an 8. Okay? So... What I really did is I took a whole number from here and moved it here in fraction form. Now that I've done that regrouping, we can subtract. Okay, 
So again, only subtract your numerators. So eight minus seven is one. Denominator is still an eight. And now we subtract our whole numbers. Eight minus three is five. So in this case, our answer is five and one eighths, okay? Um, so if you have any questions on this process, let me know. Put your questions in the comments, send them to me, and I will do my best to get back with you. I hope this helps.